My name is Gavin Coley, and this is my code of arms speech. And for my past, something that represents me is bad haircuts. And if you look at me, I think the one thing you can tell about me is that I love my hair. <laughs> I mean, I've let it grow for eight, six years, and I haven't got a real major cut. The last major haircut I got is actually the photo that I'm going to show. But before I do that, with a show of hands, how many of you all have ever had a bad haircut? Almost everyone, yeah, all right. And so, with a bad haircut, here is mine. I got the first cut in eighth grade, and then after that, I didn't want to get a haircut again. That's actually the staple of my childhood, is the buzz cut. Almost every photo you see me in, I'll have a buzz cut or shorter hair or something like that. And the reason for that is because I couldn't speak up for myself. My dad would always ask me, what kind of haircut do you want? Do you just want to buzz cut, buzz it all off, you don't have to deal with it? And I would just listen to him and go with the flow, and that resulted in the worst haircut ever. And so now, I have the long, luscious logs. For my present, is shopping carts. I work at Walmart, I push carts, and you may be thinking, why bring that up in your presentation? It's because it helps me realize my time management and how being in college, having friends, you know, all this stuff, you gotta learn how to manage your time effectively to be able to enjoy things that you wanna enjoy. Like you can't put off assignments till the last minute. You can't not go into work. I'm working 30 hours a week right now. So being in college, working 30 hours a week and still managing to find time for my friends and family is a big part of all of that. And finally, for my future hopes and dreams, there's a stethoscope. I want to, my major is psychology. I want to become a psychiatrist. One of the reasons I want to become a psychologist or a psychiatrist is because most of the time, people won't speak up about what they're dealing with. Most of the time, they would rather sit on their own, not speak to anybody about it, and. Unfortunately, that results in some suicides every year. Maybe people you know, maybe people you don't know. But it doesn't matter. People should be turning to suicide when there's other options available, like speaking to someone. Who, and sometimes, when speaking to someone isn't enough, psychiatrists can prescribe drugs to be able to help when words aren't enough. And so that is why I'm gonna become a psychiatrist and help everyone to the best of my abilities. And finally, thank you for having me.